Hello everyone! In this video, I'll be building a cigar box stomp box. I like to use one of these to provide a backing rhythm when I'm playing other instruments. A stomp box is an easy project to make, and it can create a fairly wide variety of sounds depending on how it's used. I like to play wearing socks, as it creates a nice soft bassy sound. Wearing shoes is fine also, it'll just make a different tone. The first item you'll need is a sturdy wooden box. It doesn't necessarily even need to be a cigar box, but that's the most common option. A few very simple electronic components will be used to detect the sound when this box is stomped on so it can be sent as an audio signal to a guitar amplifier. The most important component is this, a piezoelectric transducer. You can buy a dozen of these for only a few dollars, and they're useful for all sorts of different projects. They work by using a disc of ceramic that in response to motion, like acoustic vibration, produces an electric current. To send the current from the piezo to my amplifier, I'll be using a quarter inch audio jack. And I also have a potentiometer to use as a volume control. But I found this component does not actually work very well with piezoelectric pickups, so it's completely optional. In any case, the potentiometer is the first component that I'll install, so a hole is drilled through the top of the cigar box to accept it. It's secured in place with a nut and washer, and the knob presses on over top. The cigar box that I've chosen to use makes installing the audio jack a little more tricky. I want it to come out of the sidewall, but the threads are too short to reach all the way through. I have a solution for this, but first I need to drill a hole through the seam. Now the audio jack I've attached to this small scrap of board, which will allow it to be inset into the new hole in the box without needing to extend all the way through, so long as there's enough room for a cord to press into it. This is glued and clamped in place, and I can now move on to the wiring. This is what the circuit should look like if you're using a potentiometer. As I mentioned before, this particular potentiometer did not work very well for me, and that's because it doesn't have enough resistance. You really need one with about a 5 meg ohm rating to effectively control the volume. I'll give you a link to a few that will work in the video description below. Without using a potentiometer, the wiring is even simpler. Both leads on the piezo can just be wired to opposite terminals on the audio jack. It doesn't even matter which wire goes to which terminal, it will work either way. With this setup, the stomp box will always be outputting at full volume, and you'll just have to turn it down from the amplifier. The final step is to glue the piezo on the underside of the top of the cigar box, right in the center where it will pick up the most vibrations. Optionally, the wires can be secured with a bead of hot glue as well. Okay, so let's plug it in and give it a test. The piezo does a great job of capturing the natural sound of the wood, as I'm sure you can hear. A method I like to use quite a lot when I play this stomp box is to stomp on it with one foot and rub the corner with my other, creating a shaker effect in the offbeat. With practice, I'm sure you'll be able to come up with quite a few of your own techniques. I should also mention that this same circuit we made in this video can be used as an acoustic guitar pickup, which is perfect for the cigar box guitars I've shown how to build in earlier videos. The piezo just needs to be glued to the back of the neck or somewhere inside the body, and you're good to go. For this project, I was sponsored by Videoblox. Videoblocks is a website and marketplace for high-quality stock footage for any video projects you might have. They have a library of over 800,000 clips, motion backgrounds, and visual effects, as well as an extensive marketplace where users can submit their own content and earn a 100% commission on any sales. It's a great resource whether you need stock footage or if you'd like to try selling it yourself. A Videoblox membership gives you unlimited downloads from their library for only $99 a year. If you'd like to give them a try, you can get a 7-day free trial to Videoblox through the link I've placed in the video description below. Any clips you download with this trial, you get to keep. 
If you don't end up wanting a membership after you've seen what Videoblox has to offer, just remember to cancel your trial before it's over. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to leave me some feedback in the comments below, and thank you for watching.